put on my Instagram the other day that I wanted to do a pottery and wine evening. There was quite a lot of interest. So the first one I'm going to do on Thursday and it's currently Monday. I've just gone through all my things, what I have already, all the paints and paintbrushes and tools and to see what I still need to get. It's a bit of a mess right now, but I'll show you. Yeah, so I'm really keen for it. I hope it goes well and if it does then I can continue doing this. I just got back from the pottery shop and I got a bag of clay and the paints for the pottery evening that I'm doing. In two days time, let me show you the colours of it. got a nice light blue, yellow, green, white and this beautiful little lilac colour. These are the colours that I already have. Um, marine blue which actually goes a lot darker than this. Um, red, grey, black. Underglazing works the same as paints. You can mix white with red and get pink got a bunch of paint brushes, um, different thicknesses and um, types so that people can choose from them and then little paint palettes. So yeah, I think that's everything sorted for the evening. I'm really excited for that evening. Really hope it goes well. I am in the planning zone of a project that I'm working on. I can't say it right now because we haven't launched it yet. I'm going to need to do a few experiments with different designs, see what I'm going to go forward with. But there's a few things that I need to experiment with. First is that we want to try do a candlestick holder, just a small one. And then so I need to find a nice design for that. And then also we want to do some small bowls for sauces and stuff. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, just a bit of experimenting. amounts of clay so I did a 160 gram 220 gram and a 300 gram yeah let me show you what I've done so these are the three different sizes that I've done that's the 160 220 300 um I know I didn't do like an equal 
gap between each of the sizes but I did these two and realized that there's not like a massive size difference so I wanted to just do a bigger jump to see how much of a difference it'll be. I'm currently working on experimenting with the surprise project thing. Let me show you what I've done so far. So this is the first batch of things. I made a few trinket dishes that we already decided to go ahead with. Just like that. Kind of like, yeah, exactly what I made in my other video. I made a candle holder. So... And then with experimenting with those bowls, I already showed you a few that I made. The 300 gram one, I think, is actually, it's a bit big. This is the size. Um, whereas the others are like that size uh, and it's for sauces and stuff so there's no need for it to be like so massive and I've made three already and we were thinking of doing them in a set like that. I still need to make one more candlestick and I need to make one more set of those sauce bowls. I need to make four boot mugs. Also made another set of bowls and candle stick holders that are a different design to the other ones. So things are, have got 500 grams of clay each um, and I've wrapped them in that so that it doesn't dry out. Mm -hmm. 
These were a few of the things that were made last night at the pottery and wine evening. I'm going to leave them for about a week to dry properly and then I'll take them in to be fired. That's the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, there wasn't much to it, but it was kind of behind the scenes. Yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, and see you next time. Thank you.